this is sanjay and uh, for my gdsc solution challenge myself and my teammates have chosen the problem traffic light signal violation detection now uh, i'll be explaining the processing of this code by running the code itself as you can see in the top left corner the first frame or the first uh, output window printed is is the traffic light uh, color at the first frame uh, and uh, the successful screen tries to identify a violation line by drawing contours in the image now this uh, black line represents the violation line so when a car passes through this uh, violation line when the traffic light being red uh, being red is the color red the traffic violation counter gets updated as one and the violation there is an violation alert being printed the model is taking the video as an input of one frame per second as you can see when a car passes through this uh, violation line or the car crosswalk uh, when the traffic light is red the violation counter is uh, being printed uh, violation uh, alert is being printed and the violation ca counter is being uh, incremented from 0 to 1 similarly this can be uh, done in a real time uh, by improving our model uh, improving our model uh, and uh, training our model with uh, much faster data now this video is not just uh, left as uh, this video is being printed on the local system or any server that can be uh, given in the program so as you can see in this freeze frame uh, the car uh, has a bounding box and a red color uh, over it so when a violation alert is being printed this uh, alert can be sent to the nearby police officials and we can perform ENPR or facial recognition in order to read the features of the person or the car and uh, file, file criminal proceedings uh, on them so that's it for our uh, project and uh, thank you for the opportunity